Hey, and welcome back to Mr. Reimer's Scratch Tutorials. Um, we've now got to the point where we are done the basic coding of our game. And so I wanted to show you a little bit about how you take that, sort of those basic coding elements, and turn that into your own unique game. So basically how you customize your game so that's your own, not just a step-by-step follow-along of my tutorials. So this is, uh, this is kind of where you get to be creative, and if you're in my class, this is where we kind of start to break away and add our own elements and make some sort of custom designs. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do uh, switch out costumes, how to upload your own costumes that you've designed yourself, and how to do just a little bit of, um, yeah, just general customization. So this is all very easy. It's pretty simple once you get the hang of it. We're going to start right here with Scratch. So our little Scratch um, character here, maybe what we want is to not um, to not actually be using Scratch as our character. So we start the game here. We've got Scratch up in the corner. Maybe Scratch is not the character we want to be uh, in this game. Maybe we want to do a totally different kind of game. So I'm going to click on Scratch. I'm going to go to Costumes. And you can see we have the Scratch costume right here. And we are going to add a new costume, and then we're going to get rid of Scratch's costume. So let's just click Choose a Costume. And maybe instead, for my main character in this game, what I want is... Um, what do I want for my main character? This dinosaur looks kind of cool. Does he have any sort of animation? Um... Not much animation. Let's go all the way down. Maybe I want a space dog. Look, actually this space dog would be good because he kind of has a little walk cycle. Or what else is there? Let's search space. Um, perfect. Uh, let's, let's go with rocket ship. So let's say we want a rocket as our character. You can see I clicked here, then the rocket ship shows up there. So if I want a rocket ship for my game, what I can do is I can just click on the costume here for a scratch, delete it, click on the costume here for a scratch, delete it. Now you can see this rocket ship is showing up here. We're going to change its size down to about 25, just so it's a little, we've got a little bit more room to work with on the screen. So, we've got a rocket. Um, works okay. Um, you'll notice as I'm moving this back and forth, it is still doing the flipping back and forth, but it, it's not actually pointing in the direction I want. Um, so one way you can fix that is if we zoom out here and I'm in vector, and I can actually select the whole thing and I can just um, rotate it, hold down shift so that it's facing to the uh, facing to the right. You gotta make sure it's facing to the right because that's the default facing direction. Uh, start that again. Now it goes back and forth. Oops. Of course I die. This down. And we're in a second level. I got stuck though, so I'm gonna have to change that. Um, so if I've got a rocket ship, which is more sort of a top-down thing or something that needs more direction to it, we're going to have to update our code a little bit. So we've got the rocket ship here. We've got our code. And uh, right now we have uh, rotation style left, right. But let's just do a little update here. If this happens to be what you want to do, we can go left, right. We're going to do all around rotation. Um, and so if right arrow, we're pointing direction 90. Left arrow, direction negative 90. And um, let's add our up and down. So... Point and direction up, and point and direction down. Okay, so that's a quick change based upon what I'd chosen as my new costume. So now, da, 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 da. now I have just four directional uh, movement here. Mm -hmm. I'm going a little bit fast. Um, I just gotta wait for this guy to get by, and I can go down here and bam! Oh, still missing one. There, won the game. Okay, so that's one thing changed. I now have a rocket ship. Well, if I've got a rocket ship, 
what I need to do is I need to start switching out what my backdrop is. So we're going to go to backdrops. I'm going to choose a backdrop. And um, let's look for a space. And um, let's choose uh, Space City number two. Okay, so that's my new backdrop. Let's go to costumes. Sorry. Click on the backdrop. Go to costumes. Um, so one thing that's kind of cool, if I can go convert to vector, I can select this backdrop here. I'm going to drop it back where it was, but I'm going to command C it. Um, I'm going to go here. I'm going to convert this to vector. I'm going to select it, delete it, and then command or control V. I'm going to paste in my new backdrop there. Same thing goes here. I'm going to convert to vector. Good. Delete that backdrop. Paste this one in. And then my text has disappeared. But I'm going to just take my selected backdrop and I'm going to send it to the back. And my text will reappear there. Same thing goes for my lose. Select the background using my selector tool. Hit delete. Command V to paste or control V and send it to the back. Now I can take the space city too and I can just uh, hit delete, and now I've got the updated, it's called jungle, win and lose. I'm going to change this jungle to space, hit enter. Now if we go to code, you can see that uh, when the game starts, switch backdrop to space, it's now updated from jungle to space. So it'll automatically do that if you change the costume name. So now I'm in space, perfect, good start. Um, I've got my guy zooming around here. I'm collecting. Uh, of course, I got stuck there. So one of the things I might have to do is set a respawn point for uh, my level two. We can do that a little bit later. Um, but let's just hit this. Okay. So I'm going to change these donuts out now. Changing donuts out is easy as one, two, three. You just click, I guess, one, two, three, four. Go to costumes. And we're going to choose something that's appropriate for us to grab in space. Um, so what am I searching for? Let's just look space. Uh, so we've got planets, we've got guys, we've got robots, we've got stars. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to have lost my crew. Um, so maybe, maybe I've lost my crew and they're out floating around in space. So I'm going to have lost my space dog. I'm going to have lost space. Uh, this girl right here, she's sad. Um, I'm going to have lost the dude. This guy, and one last person I'm gonna have lost. Um, uh, one more dude, this dude right here. Two of the dudes are kind of similar looking. Okay, so space dog, dude, other dude, space girl, um. Okay, let's update this, and go, and go, go, and go. Okay, now I've also lost There we go, and I win! Easy as that. Okay. So now we're at the point where we've changed out the costumes for our donuts. We can also click on this and change this to, uh, we're going to get rid of this one. So just make sure we got rid of the other costumes in these. And uh, let's just make sure that our code is still good. Oh yeah, it won't change because the code is touching scratch. If we want to change this to rocket, Go to to rocket. There we go. And uh, last thing we're going to want to change as far as items or enemies is uh, our bats. So these are pretty easy. Choose a costume, same as before. And we're going to go with uh, the robots. 
So we're going to do these, um, these robots instead of bats. Uh, this one right here. Okay. We'll start. There we go. So now I've got some sort of a space theme going on. I've got robots going around. I've got to collect my crew with my rocket ship. I've changed my rocket ships at points all around. And we've got the basics of um, a decent little game here. So the next thing I'm going to show you how to change in my next video is uh, the basic level design. And I'll add a new little respawn point in for our rocket ship once we get to level 2.